Right, and here we have sorry more reactions coming from MCS and a section of members of the county assembly from Narok have come out in defense of Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Olelenku following threats of his impeachment by members of the National Assembly. Now the MCS says security of the nation is a collective responsibility and the burden should not fall on Olelenku alone but also other security agents should be equally responsible. It is inappropriate to personalize a matter of national importance such as security to the extent of relating it to kitchen equipment or food production for that matter in the kitchen, food processing in the kitchen. You cannot equate what happened to Mpeketoni. It's like you are laughing to the people who suffered in Mpeketoni. And the first people to call Olelengu a cook are the very people seeking the support of the Maasai people. <laughs> there is no crime in being a cook. Nothing. But that's not the point in this country at this point. The point in this country at this point is that we have an insecurity problem. Security come to many stakeholders or it's a concern of a, 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 a responsibility being collected even by parliament itself. We have the security, parliamentary security committee. We have the IG. We have the police themselves, and Olelengu cannot be attributed to be failing to take security of Kenya at any cost. That is a message from the entire Ma community. Safe guests applied to Jubilee that are aware that there are some MPs pushing the agenda that Narrow County is also a Jubilee zone, that the Ma community is ready to withdraw itself. We are ready to sacrifice because of Olelengu. So we are actually saying that the stand remains. Olelengu is able to maintain security of the, of, of, of the Kenya.